What is going on, Miller Cluckers? My name's Lucas, and welcome to another video. Now, Robocop is going to be playable in MK11. And by the time I'm recording this, it will be available to us in three days, which I cannot be more excited. But, to increase my hype, I never saw any of his movies. So, to get myself more excited about the character and to notice more references, I watched the original three, and for shits and giggles, I watched the 2014 reboot, and I even jot down some notes, and I'm going to tell you guys what I thought about them. Now, the original three, there were a lot more, there was a lot more swearing, there wasn't really holding anything back, um, and there were some truly, like, horrifying looking scenes. Like, even for me, like, who's been playing Mortal Kombat ever since I can remember, uh, it really got to me. Like, at least in 1 and 2. Uh, Robocop 1 and 2 had some pretty interesting scenes that had me like, oh god, Jesus Christ. But, um, all in all, these were movies that were really good. And they did a great job, especially with what they had technology-wise to make these movies. Um, one thing that I do not like, though, is they couldn't get the same actor, Peter Weller, to be RoboCop in RoboCop 3. I don't know why. They just didn't. Um, and there were at times where some of the lines or, like, something was happening in the movies and I could predict for a second that it was going to happen. And for me, I enjoy doing that. Like, I love to do it with movies and TV shows all the time. <clears throat> like, I'll say the line, never watching, watching it before, I'll say the line with the character, and if I get it right, it just makes me feel so happy. Um, and I just gotta say, there were a lot of moments through these three movies where, like, Robocop was taking a bunch of hits, but then that epic music came in and he started beating everybody's asses and it was just, it got me like so freaking hyped and like I was ready for him to take down the bad guy and everything. So those are all the notes that I had down for the original three because I didn't start thinking of making this video until I started watching the reboot. I'm just going to show you the list real quick. That's the reboot list. I had a lot to write down. The reboot wasn't bad. On the other hand, it wasn't the best. I guess that's what you get for a reboot. But um, first thing that just pops out. You get Samuel L. Jackson in there, and Michael Keaton, Nick Fury, and Vulture in the same movie, and Michael Keaton is the bad guy. He plays a great bad guy, and Samuel L. Jackson is this reporter who is the main guy. Like, here's what's happening in the world, and we're, I'm going to tell you about it. Because in the original three, it was the exact same thing. It was a new show with two people telling you what was going on in the world. For the reboot, he mainly focused on the robots and what was going on. Because in this reboot, this world, everywhere else in the country, have they have this army of full-on robots. Like, controlled everything, and if you're wearing a red glowy bracelet, the robots can't harm you. Anyway... Uh, another thing that I enjoyed, both the police captain and Alex Murphy's partner were both African Americans. Uh, the police chief was an African American female and Alex Murphy's partner, Lewis, was a African American male, which that was nice. Uh, it was a nice, uh, twist. It also turned out, if you haven't seen these movies, I am going to talk a little spoiler talk, uh, mostly about the reboot stuff because not much of what I wrote down for the original three is kind of spoilish. Um, 
But it turns out that the police chief was corrupt. And uh, that was very interesting. I didn't see that coming. Uh, another thing that I didn't really like about the reboot is the guy that plays him, and I meant to look up his name, but I forgot. The guy that plays Alex Murphy does not really look like Peter Weller in any way until he gets into the suit. He looks kind of like Peter Weller in the suit. But at least in Robocop 3, they tried to find a guy that looked very similar to Peter Weller. Uh, but yeah, it just, it took some getting used to, but, um, you know, once I finally got used to it, wasn't that bad. Um, they used the original model as an Easter egg, like, halfway through the movie, and that was pretty nice, and, again, spoiler alert, they used, they used the suit uh, the original colors and the original design in the end so that was fine um I did enjoy the fact that it was his entire face and then when he went into combat mode it was like Iron Man's helmet and it just you know went over his eyes and it would get down to business and the reason why I said that they went with the original colors at the end because throughout most of the movie he's wearing all black, which that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to watch this reboot because I thought that look was awesome. He also has a SMG now instead of a uh, detachable arm that has a flamethrower and rockets and whatever. Uh, he still has his signature pistol, but it's a little different because it's a 2014 movie. Um, you also got Gary Oldman, uh, who played Commissioner Gordon in The Dark Knight. Uh, he is the main scientist that's working with the program to create RoboCop. And that was pretty cool. Um, instead of Murphy getting horribly dismembered by a bunch of gunfire, uh, it's an explosion. Like a car bomb. Cor two corrupt cops put a bomb under his car he opened the door and it exploded and that caused him to uh, become Robocop I have some mixed feelings about that because him getting shot with all those shotguns and in the end just the devastating headshot that to me is more iconic when people think of Robocop but yeah I, I got mixed feelings um when he first gets the suit, he first wakes up as RoboCop. The CGI, phenomenal. All that was left was his face, uh, parts of his brain, his spine, and his lungs. And, of course, he had his right hand still. And the CGI that went through it, you're going to have to check it out for yourself. You can look it up on YouTube or something. But the CGI looked fantastic and the new suit that went along with it when he first woke up as robocop was awesome uh he can actually run now that was a big key thing and he also can jump which he did in the second movie but he jumped down instead of like a super jump uh but anyway that was all together that was awesome it was a it's a really good scene um and then he finally gets the, the recolor and everything's ready to go. And now he's going to do this training sequence to see if he's able to stop crime out in Detroit City. Uh, and that whole sequence was fantastic. Amazingly awesome. Uh, one of the only things that I have... The last thing I have on my list here is it takes them an hour in five minutes before Robocop finally arrests someone. I understand it's a reboot and you still need to kind of do some origin story, but if someone's watching this one before the other, the original three, 
you know, there's going to be some conflict, you know, because most people remember how he died in the original one and became Robocop. Others remember this one. And it's, you know, that's why it's like, it's an interesting take. I'm not disappointed or I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's, that's where I'm going with it. Uh, all in all, if I had to put it in a list to see like which ones would be better going from top to bottom best to worst Robocop 1 2 3 and then the reboot honestly the order that I watch them in is the order that I would place them in the actual order of my personal best to worst um, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, this is a very interesting and different video. Never actually watched a movie and taken notes, but since, you know, we're done with that. Swish. Um, I do hope you did enjoy this video. If you did and you want more, uh, kind of movie reviews. I, I could review the Terminator series, which that was a lot of fun. Um, I've watched all of them, but Genesis. So, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, post your comments down below if you have any other movie trilogies or series in that matter that you want me to review. Um, if it's a new series and I haven't watched it yet, I'll have to go and watch it, obviously. But, um, yeah, this was uh, very interesting, and I kind of like it. Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, like the video, subscribe for you new, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload videos and when I live stream. Um, and I will see you mother cluckers in the next video. Peace out.